welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erica. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. I would love to have you subscribe, like, comment, and if you're returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. So today's video, I will be collabing for the first time with a dear friend of mine named Oakley. Her channel name is Oak Style. Of course, I will have her channel and her video linked in my description box. Oakley and I found each other a few months ago here on this platform, and I just adore her. First of all, she is beautiful, and I am obsessed with her hair. She has hair kind of like Andy from Andy Does Stuff, and you guys know how obsessed I am with Andy's hair. I just told uh, Andy in the comment section of one of her videos that her hair is not safe. It's got a very limited time on her head because I am coming for it. And I'm almost to that point with Oakley's hair too. Oakley does so many fun things on her channel. She does makeup reviews, eyeshadow palette reviews. She shows you her makeup hauls, her fashion hauls, all kinds of really fun stuff. And she got a hold of me a couple of weeks ago on Instagram and asked me if I would like to do a collab with her. And of course I said, yes, I love doing collabs. And she came up with the best idea. She said, why don't we do a makeup swap? You go out and get me some makeup. I'll go out and get you some makeup and then we'll mail that makeup to each other and use the products in a video. And I thought, oh my God, that's a great idea. So I have some really fun stuff that Oakley has sent me to use in my video today. A couple of things I have used already, but most of the stuff she sent me, I have never used before. So I'm really looking forward to giving all of these products a chance. See what I think of them. So if you are interested to see me use the products that Oakley sent me for our makeup swap collab, then please sit back, relax, and let's get started. So I've already done my brows because I cannot uh, do my brows and talk at the same time. And Oakley sent me two brow products. Uh, the brow product that I used was the Avon True Color Glimmer Stick Brow Pencil in the shade Taupe. And this is really nice. Um, it's a little lighter than what I would normally choose, but actually I kind of like it because I typically choose uh, eyebrow pencils that are too dark. And this was not too dark. This is really nice. Just a nice little brow pencil here. And then she also sent me this. This is the Tattoo Studio Brow Lift Stick. And this is in the shade Blonde. And this end, the, the brow stick, was just a little too light for me. But what I did use was this end. This is the little brush that it comes with. And I used this brush to kind of uh, more evenly disperse this brow pencil. And this brush is amazing. I was very happy with how this worked because I have kind of bushy, crazy eyebrows. And this really helped kind of like tone them down. And then I did put a little bit of clear brow gel uh, from NYX over the top of that. Now I'm going to apply the primer that she sent me. And this is the NYX Professional Makeup Marshmallow Primer. And I have wanted to try this for so long. My daughter loves this primer. And I have taken a little a sniff of this and it smells like marshmallows. It's amazing. So I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit of this into my hand here. Oof, very nice, look at that, Cute, beautiful. And I really like to put my primer down, um, if I use primer, I like to put it on right away, like before I get started on really anything else but my brows, uh, just so it has time to kind of like mm, sit on my skin, kind of like, you know, get nice and primed up here before I start putting my foundation and everything else on. And this feels lovely and it smells like heaven, oh geez, it definitely smells like marshmallows. So I went ahead and I primed this eye in the P. Louise eyeshadow base in Rumor 01. And I'm just gonna do one eye on camera. I figured that would kind of save time. And the palette that Oakley sent me is the ColourPop High Tide palette. And I wanted this palette as soon as it was released. Now I did get this palette and I sent it to Steph, not your basic Steph, and she has created a beautiful look with this on her channel. I'll see if I can find that video and link it in my description box because she nailed her look with this. And I just think this is so gorgeous. It's like sea greens, teals, bluish greens, whatever you want to call them. And I think what I'm going to do is start off with this shade here. This is called Flora and I'm going to put that in my transition area. And I think this is such a pretty palette for the summer. I mean, you know, sea green, ocean green, oceany blues. Sometimes I'll see a eyeshadow color and I'll think it looks green and then other people think it looks more blue. So I don't know. This to me is very like aqua green. And that is a beautiful matte shade. This is perfect. It's going down just beautifully in the transition area. All right, now I'm gonna go into, hmm. I kind of want to use this as a liner. I don't know. I think I am going to go into this shade here. This is called Urchin, and I'm just going to kind of deepen up the transition area a little bit with that. And this is lovely too. Wow. I love it. Very nicely pigmented, blending out very nicely. Now I'm going to go into the shimmers, and I think I'm going to use this one here called Muscle Beach and put that towards the outer part of the lid there. 
and I will spray this just to minimize the fallout. I mean, I haven't put my foundation or anything on yet, but you know, I don't like to clean up things if I don't have to. And ooh, that's nice, very pretty. I'm not gonna take this too far across the lid. I just kind of wanted it more towards the outer part here because uh, I want to have one of those kind of brighter tealy type light teal shimmers across the majority of the lid. I thought that would look really pretty. So what I'm going to do is just flip the brush over and I think I'm going to go into this shade here. This is called Free Floatin' and put that down towards the front part of the lid. I just wanted something kind of brighter towards the front part of the lid. I thought that would be very pretty. And there's a couple different options I could have chosen from, but I just went with this. And oh yeah, oh yeah, that is beautiful. That's what I wanted. I wanted just that kind of bright, light green shimmer towards the front. Ooh. Now what I'm going to do is go into this one. This is called Just a Splash. This is one of those sequined shadows, I guess they're called now, or probably have always been called. I don't know why I didn't know that, but I was watching somebody uh, create a look. I can't remember now who it was, and they were talking about the mattes with the sparklies and referred to it as a sequined shadow. <laughs> you learn something new every day. And I'm going to put that down. Uh, just kind of across my brow bone here, just to kind of make this look a little bit more diffused and lighter. Add some brightness under the brow here. So what I'm going to do now is go off camera, do the other eye, and I will be right back. All right, the other eye is done. I love the eyeshadow palette. I really like how this eye look came together. And now I'm going to go into my foundation that she sent me. And this is the Morphe, let's see, Filter Effect Soft Focus Foundation medium to full coverage in the shade medium 13. And I'm just gonna apply this on my face, of course. And it's got this little pump here. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of this on the back of my hand. I have no idea how much many pumps to use because I've never used this before, but I've heard really good things about this foundation. And I'm just gonna kind of dot this on. And then I think what I'll do is I will go off camera to kind of blend this in because once you've seen someone put on their foundation, you've seen everybody put on their foundation. So hold please, I'll be right back. The foundation is on, I love it. It is a beautiful foundation. It's a very nice uh, finish, really nice coverage. The shade match is spot on. Oakley, you nailed the shade match. And I think that the foundation that I sent Oakley is gonna be a little bit too light for her. <sighs> but she did say she could mix it with something else. I'm so sorry. I just, I can't even pick the right foundation shade for myself, so it's, Probably a good uh, indication that I won't be able to pick it for somebody else either. So now I'm going to apply the concealer. And this is the e.l.f. 16 Hour Camo Concealer a Matte Finish in the shade Light Sand. Now I have used this before. I don't think it was this shade. So I'm just going to put a teeny tiny little bit of this under my eye, on my nose, a little bit right here. Um, a little bit of this goes a long way. <laughs> and then I'm just going to, of course, blend that into my skin. And I did clean off all of my brushes last night, my sponges, everything. Mm, I'm so happy to have nice clean brushes. It's so nice and sponges, of course. I'm horrible about that. All right, now let's go ahead and do the lower lash line. And she got me the NYX uh, Professional Makeup Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Milk. And I have several of these and I can never find them because I, I know I've talked about this before, but I have stuff just shoved in these like little bins or like little tubs and things just sink down to the bottom and then I'm just kind of lazy and just grab whatever's up on the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my waterline here. I thought the white would be a cool touch with the teal. And I think I'm gonna go into Flora first, put that on the entire lower lash line here. Now I think I would like to deepen the lower lash line a little bit. So I'm gonna go into this shade called Lunar and put that on the lower lash line. And I think actually I'm gonna line the upper lid with that too. Oh, that is beautiful. I love how that looks. That is gorgeous. I love it. And now I think what I'm gonna do is grab my little lipstick brush. And I think I'm gonna go into the shade here called Must See, but it's S-E-A. Isn't that cute? I love that. I'll spray that a little bit and put that towards the front part of the lower lash line, of course. I am totally digging this eyeshadow palette. I'm digging everything so far. I mean, everything has just been amazing, wonderful, beautiful. I love it. Oakley did such a good job. Now let's bronze the face. And she got me the NYX Professional Makeup Matte Bronzer in the shade Medium. And I think this looks like the perfect bronzing shade for myself. I cannot wait to try this. 
just gonna use my little bronzing brush here and I think I don't know lately I have not really been liking how it looks to bronze my forehead does anybody else ever feel like that like you do something with a makeup product and you do it a certain way for a long time and then all of a sudden one day you look at yourself and you're like I don't like that I'm not gonna do that anymore I don't know I mean I don't really think I have a large forehead. I know that, you know, like bronzing the forehead kind of makes your forehead look smaller. So I think I'm just going to kind of bronze the side of my face here, or both sides of my face here. Try not to go too ham. Sometimes I go a little crazy with the bronzer. I'm like, are you okay? There's a couple videos I've like been editing and I'm like, did you really need to put that much bronzer on your face? No, you did not. And you guys have probably thought the same thing. Like Erica, whoa, slow down there, sister. Now I'm going to put a little bit of this down the side of my nose here. And this is a very nice bronzer. I really like it. I mean, I am just so impressed with everything that Oakley sent me. I love it all. It's amazing. I'm going to put a little bit of this on the jawline, of course. And then I'm going to apply the blush. And now for the blush, I will be applying the NYX Professional Makeup Sweet Cheeks in the shade Baby Doll. And this is a really fun liquid blush. And it's got this really cool kind of like uh, triangular doe foot applicator. So I'm a little nervous because I haven't done this a whole lot. I mean, I haven't used really any liquid blushes for a long, long time. So I'm just going to kind of lightly dab this onto the face here and just kind of pat that onto the skin. I think I used too much, but you know what? No, I don't think I did. This is actually going down very nicely and it's blending out beautifully. That is so pretty. Oh my gosh. I love this. Oakley. Oakley, you are just a makeup genius. I'm telling you what. This is gorgeous. How easy was that? When I first put that on my cheek, I was like, oh God, this is going to be a nightmare. And it's not at all. It's blending out beautifully. Very nice shade. Ooh, that is really pretty. I love that. I did go off camera and I set my face with the L'Oreal Paris Hydra Perfect Loose Setting Powder in the shade Translucent. Just to kind of keep that blush in place, kind of just keep everything locked down. I love this powder. It's got a really nice florally scent to it. It's so pretty. So now I'm going to apply my mascara. She sent me the ColourPop Act Natural Defining Mascara in the shade Black. And I have never tried a ColourPop mascara. I don't know why. Sometimes with certain brands, I just get certain products and I don't ever like branch out and get new things or new products from the brand. So I'm really excited to give this a try. So let's see what we think. Oh yeah, that's really nice. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. It is a defining mascara for sure. I mean, it's not clumping. It's definitely like, you know, coating the lashes well without sticking them all together. Oh, that drives me nuts. If a mascara does that to me, I break up with it immediately. I just don't like mascaras that do that. And I'm going to try really hard to not smear this. I did a little bit under my eye. I always do that. Like I've actually been in here getting ready and like screamed. Ah! And my husband comes flying in here. What happened? I'm like, I got mascara on my face. He's like, come on, don't do that to me. Jeez, I thought something really major was wrong. And I'm like, it is. That is majorly something wrong. And now for the final step, I will be applying my lipstick. And she got me the NYX Professional Makeup Butter Gloss in the shade Vanilla Cream Pie. And at first I'm like, oh, am I supposed to eat this? Just kidding. Um, I used to have a couple of these little butter glosses and I can't find them. I swear there is a makeup thief that lives in my house. Either that or my daughter sneaks in and takes things when I'm not looking. I don't think so, but no. Mm -mm. Okay, let's apply this. Ew, that is gorgeous. Mmm. That is so pretty, just very soft, light pink. Perfect for summer, I think. Mm, I love that. I think that is perfect. So I'm just gonna go off camera and slap some highlighter on and I'll be right back and show you how everything came together. I mean, you've seen how everything came together, but let, let's just put on some highlighter and I'll be right back. I slapped some highlighter on. I used the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Precious Petals. I just love this. It's kind of like a peachy pink shade. I don't know, three or four dollars at my local drugstore. And I just thought this would be perfect to add a little bit of glowiness to my skin. And I had so much fun playing with all of these makeup products that Oakley sent me. If I had to pick my favorite items out of everything she sent, I would have to say the Morphe Foundation was amazing. This again is the Filter Effect Soft Focus Foundation in the shade medium 13 
beautiful. I love it. I love the finish. I've never tried a foundation from Morphe before, and I am a huge fan of this foundation. I will definitely be using this a ton, use it all up. And then I also really liked the uh, ColourPop mascara, the Act Natural Defining Mascara. This is really pretty. I could have probably put a couple coats of this on, uh, but you know, you don't want to go too crazy with the length of the time of the video, but I really enjoy this. It's beautiful. Oakley, amazing. I love it. You did so good. And I really also like the NYX Sweet Cheeks Liquid Blush. This is gorgeous. It was really easy to apply. I was very nervous to try this because I thought, oh my God, I haven't used like a liquid blush in quite a while. I've used some cream blushes, but I hadn't used like a true liquid blush in a very long time. And this is gorgeous. The shade is gorgeous. The formula is gorgeous. It blended out beautifully. I think it looks really nice. And I'm so happy that I have this in my collection now. And then of course, of course, of course, we need to talk about the eyeshadow palette from ColourPop. This is the High Tide palette that I used for my look that Oakley sent me gorgeous shades, the mattes, the shimmers, everything. I love how this look came together. This is so fun to have. I'm so glad I have it. Like I said, I wanted it when it got released. I ended up getting it for Steph and sending it to her. I was kind of slapping myself for not getting myself uh, this palette. And now I have it, Oakley. This is amazing, thank you. And I enjoyed using everything else. I like the lip gloss. I really like the concealer. Used that before and I love it. I like the brow pencil. Uh, let's see what else. I liked the uh, bronzer. I thought the bronzer was really nice too. So Oakley, thank you so much for sending me so many amazing makeup products. I can't wait to use these again and again. And I hope that Oakley really likes what I sent her too. I cannot wait to watch her video and see what she thinks of the makeup products that I sent her. I will have Oakley's channel, Oak Style, linked in my description box and her video, of course, too. Please go to her channel, subscribe, watch her videos, watch this one, watch uh, all of her videos. You guys are going to love her. She's so much fun. She does a lot of really fun, different things on her channel, and I'm so happy that she asked me to do this collab today. I had a blast. Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your busy day or evening to sit down and watch my video. It always means the world to me. If you have subscribed or you would like to subscribe, do not forget to hit the notification bell. That way you're aware of all of my future uploads. I cannot wait to see you guys again in my next video, but in the meantime, please take care of yourself, be well, safe, happy, and I hope to see you very soon. Thanks again, you guys. Take care. Bye. Drop it.